We're in downtown Tallahassee on top of the Double Tree at the uh, rooftop bar and a spectacular view. Nice cool night here. Getting ready to visit the capital. Prosperity, as well as Concerned Veterans for America, who is a sister organization underneath America's for Prosperity. And we would like to present you this plaque as a showing of our appreciation for you being an A plus rated member. Thank you. And it's very important that uh, you understand that the activists are actively engaged in supporting LED issues and priorities of AFP and for that they will come all the way up here to say thank you. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Can we grab um, some? So real quick, as you yeah. see that the CBA team from campus here, we'd like to, after session, eventually come to and of course talk to you because she is the chair of the local affairs and veterans administration. All right. So basically all the veterans legislation that's coming through here, she has her hands on. Yes. And, and any ideas or suggestions you have that oh, we, we do have to ideas. help yeah. make Florida the most vet friendly state, then let me know and we'd be happy to, you know, make that happen. Anything we Well, uh, Rep Harding, this is AFP Sebring, AFP Tampa, and CVA Tampa. Great. CVA is our Concerned Veterans for America brand. Very good. In the state. So everybody, this is Representative Harding. Good. So uh, one of the things we do, of course, you know, is uh, our annual scorecard. So in spring 2021, you were one of our A-plus legislators. I was just reminding them that we did a video interview with you during committee weeks, so we wanted to kind of go look at that again in chat. But, uh, in recognition of that, we want to present you with this plaque from Americans for Prosperity awesome. for the 2021 session of being a policy champion. We just really thank you so much. Absolutely. Look forward to everything you're doing. Thank you. Let's get a picture with it right here. And then we'll maybe, maybe, maybe we'll flip we'll we'll you over there. Yeah. Look happy. We're always happy. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he probably has cowboy boots on or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, do you, you want to talk over here? And then we'll do a picture. Yeah, yeah. everybody. Sure. Chair Angolia, this is uh, AFP Sebring, AFP Tampa, and Concerned Veterans for America Tampa, as well as obviously members of our, our policy operations team. So everybody, this is Chair Angolia, one of our uh, very consistent, principled A-plus champions, and uh, he's very gracious in giving us some minutes of his day today. It's very busy today, but Chair we want to thank you for your work last year in again an A-plus champion with Americans for Prosperity. Awesome. And uh, definitely want to give you a few moments to talk to folks about things that are important to you and economic freedom, such as, I think I just heard you mention corporate welfare. Yeah. So uh, everybody would really love to hear about those positions. We've been talking about it as a state chapter, as you know. So here is your right, so hand-carved and uh, laser cut oh my so you see a little bit of nuance and imperfection there because they are actually not from a commercial and number two before i forget it um i actually did this hairstyle in his beard style because of him don't give your money to the private company but shave your head <laughs> so serious work so I do, I, I do want to thank um, one of you guys for the award. Um, you don't necessarily have to thank me for my voting um, and the way I vote. And the reason why is because when I campaigned, I made promises. And I'm very big on you make promises and you keep your campaign promises. Amen. Right? Sir. Um, because it's very easy to get lost in this process up here. And, and Jimmy can tell you. 
uh, because you have special interest groups and then you have um, uh, companies that employ lobbyists and are always trying to. Uh,